good leaders must first become good followers. And this quote means a lot to me as I look back on the past three years of learning. I enrolled in an outdoor recreation class. After one session, I knew that this was what, was what my minor was going to be. I haven't regretted it since. You see, one of the things we talk most about in the outdoor leadership minor is this idea of preconceived limits. So your limit is your furthest boundary, the farthest you can push yourself. Rarely ever do you actually push yourself to your furthest limit. However, people more and more push themselves past their preconceived limits. And this is extremely rewarding, and the outdoors is a great environment to do this in. It is difficult to condense all the memories, lessons, and skills I've experienced here, but when I think of a single word the minor has taught me, resilience is the only thing that comes to mind. <laughs> Before coming to Pacific, I was really more in the remembering and understanding phase. I would say across the board. Um, I remembered to pack first aid kit when I went backpacking, and I understood how to tie into a rope when I was rock climbing, but that was pretty much the extent of it. Through the classes at the outdoor leadership minor, I think in some areas I've been able to move into more of the applying or analyzing phases of learning. You see, you start up as a recreationist, full of excitement and energy that carries you, and one day, as you gain more experience, feedback, and self-confidence, you can eventually become a career professional. All in All as Minor has been a really humbling experience for me that has sculpted me into a more grounded, self-aware, and confident leader. My personal journey has definitely been one full of ups and downs, very humorous ups and downs a lot of times, but through it all, I have learned some very valuable lessons. The most important of these lessons I've chosen to term servant leadership. Number one, I have led my group for a whole day. During that day, they relied on me for navigation in an area I had never been to before. And you know what? I felt pretty confident. I could take bearings, I could adjust for declination, I could triangulate my position. But beyond that, it was like I was a whole different person. Here I was not only knowing how to use a lighter, but dehydrating my own food and teaching others about stove repair. And here I was facilitating topics, judging and adjusting for group dynamics, goals, and needs. I was taking care of myself, but more importantly, I was taking care of a group, and they felt safe with me. I hadn't truly realized my progress before, but I had come a long way. From a girl who had never truly been wilderness camping to someone who had now been on so many trips that I couldn't even count them on my hands. I felt like an outdoor leader. And recently, there's been a lot of talk in this new phenomenon called flow in the field of neuroscience. Flow, according to Stephen Coulter, who wrote a New York Times bestseller, The Rise of the New Superman, defines it as the, the mental state in which we feel our best and we perform our best. One of the prerequisites to being into this flow state is being close to what you believe your limit is or past your preconceived limit. But what truly made me realize I had come full circle was when I got the position as Voyages Coordinator. That's right, the girl who didn't know how to use a lighter on her own voyage was now planning and coordinating 12 voyage trips. It's almost a little scary to think about. I had come so far in such a short amount of time. But even better than that was when I achieved my overarching goal, getting into physical therapy school. My freshman year self would have been so proud to know that one of the main reasons I think I got in was because of what my outdoor leadership minor has done for me. See, I had always had the book smarts, but the minor gave me the interpersonal skills I needed to achieve in a career where I'd have to work with people. For instance, one of the questions they asked me during my interview was, when was the last time you taught something? My answer, yesterday. In the minor, I teach things almost every day, and while I'm still learning, I teach them with confidence because the minor has shown me that I have the skills to be successful and that I have grown.